Hey everybody, hope you're having a fantastic weekend or weekday, depending on when you're watching this. Just got a comment on one of my videos for the Winwing Orion unboxing assembly setup and DCS from 69 Columbus. Love the name. Love your avatar. Ron Swanson. I got him on plenty of shirts. It says, hi, I seem to be missing something. The Orion works fine in the software and everything works in the test page all the inputs show up on screen as i manipulate them however in dcs the adjustment controls page doesn't seem to recognize any inputs from the throttle base and f18 handles i don't have the stick what am i missing also in simap pro clicking the cloud option doesn't load up anything not even win wing default settings it's just blank Okay, I don't know why there's a read more show less. So let's go check it out. All right, so I got the Simap Pro app loaded right back here. I just updated my firmware. Um, if you guys have to do that, make sure you're plugged directly into the motherboard or you have one of those uh, splitters that you can disable the, the ports on. Okay, let's see that. I can manipulate it. Backing out, if you go to the top right, you'll see that there's a login section. All right, make sure that you are logged in uh, if you log out um, there should be a login button somewhere on the top right make sure you have a window wing account you might have to go into their website to create one uh, if you don't have your account logged in you cannot go into the uh, key binding section and click on your device All right right now i only have the handle and the throttle plugged in i'm using the uh, thrust master Warthog F18 stick, uh, base and, and handle or grip. Uh, all right. So, and then you'll see that you have all the options online for, uh, the modules that you have installed on DCS. All right. Well, you need to make sure that you point it to DCS before this pops up. Um, here, I'll show you one more time right next to the logout button. There's a gear icon, click it. You'll see. All the options for DCS World, for PAR 3D, and X-Plane. All right, I do have X-Plane installed. I should connect that. But right now, uh, DCS is the only game I really play. Um, the only mil sim I really play. Sorry, Pyrrhus. Um, and you'll see that it is going to the install path. If you need to connect your install path, you just click these three dots. And uh, you can find it again. Okay, DCS Open World. Okay boom there we go we're there all right and then the user data path you need to make sure that your save games folder is also there it usually finds this by itself but if you have to connect it say you're using steam you know um you need to connect it that way uh and you got to make sure that it's the box uh for the path that's selected because you can't have three dcs worlds uh connected to uh to this software all right um so after that you can click on your modules which one you would like to download on the lower right which one you want to run on the lower left okay i made one called true lies and i uploaded it to the cloud um i don't know if mine will show up if you look for it but uh there you go all right they have a lot of different modules you can select from the the user files there isn't one you can uh, make one and upload it yourself and then other people can download it it's pretty useful uh, if, especially if you're just starting a new module one that you don't already have mapped out it's a good start and then you can go into the game and modify it uh, just a little bit all right so let's show what um, adding uh, some custom commands in the DCS game looks like. <sighs> Lemon water. It's perfect. Okay, now that we're in DCS, we can program the throttle and base. Top left, click options, go over to controls. Okay. Everything you have plugged in to your computer, that is a input commander or uh, an input controller uh, will show up on this list okay um, if you click on any device 
it should highlight what the buttons are doing. Right now I'm I'm moving things around on my, my stick, right? All the axes live in this axis assign, okay? Buttons should just pop up if they're already assigned, but if they're not, then you have to manually assign them, okay? So I'll show you what manually assigning one looks like. So because we have a wind wing throttle plugged in, you actually have to scroll all the way to where you see wind wing throttle in the list. Okay, so if you want to do nozzle rotation up as a command, you double click with your mouse on it. And then now that you have it open and it's under wind wing throttle, you can now touch a button on the wind wing throttle that you want to assign right there. I just moved my HMD plus up. I'm not going to keep it, but you'll see it does show up there. And if I rotate it left or if I click on it, all right, you'll see that they are currently used right now for the master arm switch toggle. Okay, that one's not being used. That one's not being used. But in the Apache, it's being used for um, for my my brightness, for my, my eyepiece. Okay, so yeah, I hope that helps. Um, if you have any more issues with that, leave it in the comments. And uh, I hope I can help you out. All right, take care. Happy hunting. And... Uh, Take life a little easier. See ya.